we can expand this tensegrity from three struts to a greater number, four, five, six, seven, and, and, and more, any number. You can think of it as a ring. Currently there are three items in the ring. But we can expand it to have four, five, six, and then it will become a square, a pentagon, a hexagon, and so on, top and bottom. The way we'll do it is hold it like this with two struts in your hand. We're going to add a new one between them. And the way we'll do it is we'll, we'll break all the lengths between them, and then we'll rejoin those lengths to the new tube. So first let's find all the lengths between them. If we start at this tube, there's a one link, there's a second link, and there's a third link. So between each set of tubes, there are three links, one on the top plane, and then vertical, and then the bottom. So let's simply undo those. So now these are open, and we can, and we can kind of unroll it. And so you can envision this strip being rolled up. We'll repeat this process in a minute with, with more tubes, and it'll, it'll make a little more sense as a, as a ring to be rolled up. So let's add our new tube in there. It'll, it'll become a little awkward to hold these things, but as you get better at it, it won't last long. And so now all the links that previously went to this tube, let's join them to the new tube. This one, and there's the vertical, and then there's the bottom. And now we can move our hand. So that only the two links that need to be joined are in our hand. And now we can unroll it and you'll see that it's kind of like a strip. So let's roll it back up. And we'll make the same three links, top, bottom, and vertical. So now we have four tubes. And it looks kind of the same, right? There's a top plane, this time it's a square, the four links, a bottom plane, and then vertical links. So we can repeat this process for as many tubes as we've got. So let's try it again. We'll grab any, any two and we'll break the links between them. Come on, little guy. And then the vertical. Remember to break them all on all on one side. So we'll remove the links on this side. If we remove some on this side and some on this side, then it'll be a little confusing. So we'll remove them only from this tube. Okay. And now a new tube. And we'll make links to this tube. And then we'll move our hand. And then we'll add links here. Here. And the bottom. And now we have five. It's the same structure, pentagon, pentagon on the top plane, and verticals between them. Let's do one more. Again, we'll remove all the links from this tube. Insert a new tube.
put our cords into the new tube. And move our hand. And we can illustrate that it's a strip. And now let's make links between these two. Do the top. Do the bottom. We'll do the vertical. this uh, cord into two, two holes on the same tube. That's not what we want to do. I need to move this out of the way. Ha! And now I've done it backwards. Let's just take this out and start over. Okay, so we need to go from the top of this one to the bottom of this one. There we go. And now, you can see that we have a hexagon, and it's the same structure. Six on the top, six on the bottom, but in the vertical, it's becoming pretty squished. So now, we'll do something a little different. We wanna, we wanna stand it up a little bit. We want to bring the tops and bottoms together. So the way we'll do that is we'll trade each of these cords in the top plane for a shorter cord will reduce their lengths. And the same in the bottom plane. So we'll go from 150 millimeter cords down to 100s. So here's a pile of 100s. So for each of these, we'll take out, we'll take out a 150 and we'll add 100. And just go around the circle like this. You can see it's standing up a little bit. It also highlights the idea that the top and the bottom plane don't need to be the same. Uh, so in this case, you know it's kind of it's kind of conical with larger legs here and smaller legs there. But we like to keep going. We like to keep adding tubes as long as we have cords available. So let's shorten up these as well. We'll do it in the same way. We'll just replace every 150 millimeter uh, cord with 100. Come on. 
And so now it stands up much taller. So let's continue. Let's add a couple more. As we break these links, we'll remember that the top and the bottom uh, planes use 100 millimeter tubes, 100 millimeter cords, and the vertical is 150. So we'll use 100s here. And then a 150 for the vertical. Come on. There we go. So there's a seven. Let's do one more. We're eventually going to run into the same problem. We're going to run into the same problem where as we as we add tubes, even though we've shortened up these top and bottom links, there are going to be enough tubes where it where it lays down. And I think that one more is going to be about our limit. Let's try it and see. Yep, and then I'm starting to, starting to lay down. I'm just, just touching. But there's eight. Let's back up. Let's back up one. One tube. If we back up one tube, then with the nine tubes in the kit, we'll be able to build both a, a version with three tubes and also a version with uh, seven tubes. No, a version with, uh, yeah, seven plus three is 10. Mm -hmm. So when we, when we go backwards, we do the same thing. We, we remove all the links between two tubes. And now let's take this tube out. Mm, let's see. No, we'll go. We'll go the other way. We'll take this tube out because that'll be the mirror image of what we've been doing so far. We have to hold all three of these in our hand, and it gets a little bit messy. But for just a moment, until this one is free, and then we can come back to the familiar configuration of holding two. And then we'll rejoin the links like this. Oops, that's the vertical, because that's the long one. And then this is the short one. So there's that one. And then we can build a version with three tubes and we can see side by side. Wrong. I think I've made a, 
Not my own connection. Let's try again. If you ever do make a wrong connection, it's easy to just to just back up. Oh, they don't have a spiral. That's what's going on. There we go. That's better. Alright, there we go, and now the verticals. So there we go, we can start with a three a three tube version. And then by simply adding tubes one at a time, we can expand it up to as many tubes as we like. 